Welcome to In the Kitchen with Mama and Julia. I'm Julia and this is Rafaela, aka Mama. We are so glad you tuned in today. This channel will be our way to share with you our family recipes. We hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also leave us a comment. We'd love to get feedback from our viewers. Be sure to ring the bell so you can be notified of all our newly released videos. Hi everyone! Welcome to In the Kitchen with Mama and Julia. Mama, Julia. So today I want to show you our aprons. So my husband went and got us matching aprons from Mama and me. Are they not adorable? So cute. Love the aprons. Anyway, today we're going to be making pizza fritta. So all that means is fried dough. So when I was little, my grandmother would make me pizza fritta. I would go in and say, Nonna, io voglio pizza fritta stamattina. And she would say, figlia bella, ma certamente. Mm -hmm. And in, within minutes, there was pizza fritta on the table. She made it look so easy. Now, I'm gonna make it even easier because I buy my dough. My grandmother did not. My grandmother made the dough from scratch. From so, scratch. Uh, it was way more tasty, but I'm all about the ease. So this is what I buy. I go to the supermarket and I buy the packaged dough. You get it in the freezer section. So we're just going to open this up. As a kid, I used to love this. And it's really, it's so simple. It's just fried dough. open this up. First I am going to put a little flour on the mat. Okay, now we're going to take the dough. And this is really, it's so delicious. So you, after you fry it, you just sprinkle sugar on it. I, I like sugar, just regular granulated sugar. You could also put powdered sugar, you could put cinnamon sugar, um, you could eat a plain, you could put syrup on it. There's so many different ways that you could eat it. But I, I like just plain granulated sugar. So we're just going to now roll this out and you don't want to make it too thin. And in the meantime, the oil is heating up. Meantime, oil is heating up. I use my um, my electric fryer. Um, you could fry it in a pan on the stove. But I use my electric fryer. You have more control with an electric fryer than you do on the you know, stove. So one of these uh, uh, dough, one of these dough things, um, you can make maybe three or four out of them, depending on how big you make them. So I'm going to use my super duper high tech cutter. <laughs> That's this bowl. So all I do is I make. little circle put some flour around the line mm. Yeah, so, so you make about four because um, after I take these out, Okay, 
Okay, so here is a circle and then you just want to make a hole in the middle. And that's so that, well that's so that when it fries, it'll fry evenly to the center. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like, just like that. And we're going to throw that in the fryer. So I'm going to cut all these pieces and then we're going to put them in the fryer. And always remember, you don't have to make little pancakes. You can just make little bundles of dough by just taking it, rolling it like this, and dropping it in the um, uh, fryer. Yeah, kind of like a zeppoli. Yeah. Listen, fried dough, you could fry anything, and it anything. tastes good. Delicious. Okay, so again. And of course, make... the colder the dough, the easier it is for you to handle. Well, the dough comes frozen, so what you want to do is you want to um, keep it frozen until you're ready to use it, mm -hmm. and then when you're ready to use it, you pull it out and uh, let it come to room temperature. And that's fast. That'll be fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, if I had a sharper cutter, like my mom said, this would have been a lot easier. So anyway, I'm going to make a little cent a hole in the center and now we're going to fry that up. So this I will um, roll out again and make one more. So I'll have four. Okay, so we finished frying them. I'm going to pull this last one out. And at this point is when you want to put your sugar on it. When it's nice and hot, pour the sugar on. Like I said, you could use confectionery sugar, um, cinnamon sugar, and this is what it looks like. So now, okay ready mama ready oh it's a little hot it cool? oh it's a little hot very hot how is it good delish mm. delish uh it's good mm. This is a really good breakfast, or just a snack during the day. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. My grandmother's was way better, but this isn't bad. And that's it. That's pizza free. So we are done. Ciao for now. Ciao for now.